What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked up ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fun one for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a team that's going to counter the meta with Life Orb Electivire and Sap Super Gudra. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. That just blows my mind that I'm saying that. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, just scroll down a little bit and hit that subscribe button and support me as a content creator. But this team right here was sent in by my boy, Mosiah. Mosiah, thank you so much for dropping this team. He sent this to me over my Instagram DM. So if you guys want to join along there, send me methyl codes. There's a link down in the description below, or my name is right below my face cam. But once he sent me this team, I was like, yo, I got to use it. You guys know how I love off meta Pokemon and uh, using different teams. This team caught my attention. I was like, let's rock out and try to counter the meta with it. Getting started with this team, we got Milotic in that top left corner, competitive and weakness policy. It's going to be able to counter the Intimidate Pokemon with Landers and Incineroar that's been so crazy in the meta recently. Though, there, there's a little step one for his anti-meta team. Weakness policy as its item, Scald, Blizzard, and Hydro Pump for its moveset with Protect as its final move. Right next to him is going to be Electivire with Motor Drive and Lifer, one of my favorite off-meta Pokemon in this game right now. Wild Charge, EQ, Fire Punch, and Protect. And what this Pokemon can actually do here is counter Regilecki pretty hard. Considering we have EQ on it, which he's not going to really be expecting on it. And I can one-tap it in one shot. Considering we have that Life Orb, it's going to be super effective. Get some big damage off there. And if he's out there against Regilecki, he can't go into Electric moves. We have Motor Drive. It's going to boost your speed. We're going to start out speed and everything and just wiping things out left and right. Middle left is going to be Urshfu. Urshfu is able to counter both of the horses, Spectre and Glacier. We have super effective with Wicked Blow and Close Combat. Both stab too, so that's going to be awesome. Be able to do big damage on the horses and counter them out the way. Our final two moves is going to be Sucker Punch and Protect, and then we have the Focus Sash as its item. Gudra over here is an all-around beast. I love this Pokemon so much. It's so versatile considering it can learn basically like any typing of move. We have Fire Blast, Sludge Bomb, Draco Meteor, and Hydro Pump. Three coverage moves. One stab, Sap Sipper to actually counter the uh, Rollabooms and protect our Milotic from when Rollabooms in the uh, battle. So if we have Milotic in there and we know Rollabooms about to drop a Grace Glide, we'll swap it out, get Guja rolling in there, get that special attack boost, and roll from there. Our item is the Soul Fest. We can soak up some shots and be very, very tanky with this Pokemon. Bottom left is going to be Corviknight. I really do like this Pokemon, but haven't used it in the uh, in the meta recently or in online battles at all. We, it has Mirror Armor as its ability, Leftovers as its item, and then we got Iron Head Brave, Bre Brave Bird Black. Can't speak right now. Roost to give us some HP and Tailwind to speed up our team. Final Pokemon is going to be another Tailwind Pokemon, and that is going to be Woman's Cop Prankster and Mabiri Berry, so we can still go up a Steel Shot, Protect, Tailwind, Taunt, and Moonblast. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this anti meta team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Glacier team. He also has Blastoids, Intimidate Landorus, Rillaboom, Hatterene, and Indeedee to set the trick room. Okay, I gotta think about this one and how I'm gonna go into it. I kinda wanna leave Milotic just to counteract that, uh, that Landorus is Intimidate. I kinda wanna leave Urshfu at the same time because if he leads Glacier or Indeedee, that actually covers a lot. So I am actually gonna lead the Milotic and the Urshfu. I'm gonna bring Sap, Super Gudra in the back end. And then my final Pokemon, do I want a Tailwind guy or would I rather have like Electivire with the Life Orb in the back? I would love to rock out with Tailwind. Tailwind would be great, but I, I'm just loving this lead that we have right now. It covers a lot. It covers a lot. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I think final Pokemon is going to be uh, Electivire. Or do I want to go with Corvo? Overnight's not bad. I'm not even going to lie. I think I'm going to go Corviknight over Electivire. I just feel like it rocks out a little bit better here. It resists a lot. And it is super effective to a good bit. So this is what we're going to go with. We're going to put Corviknight in the final spot. I haven't used this Pokemon forever, so I cannot wait to use it. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite off-meta Pokemon? To use in all nine battles for me you guys know i love electivire every time i use him i always have a good time always win some battles and i get to show off some nasty plays so definitely let me know your guys answers down in the comment section down below let's see who he leads is he gonna go lando just blastoise and indeedee so i can definitely see a follow me popping out here um i do have weakness policy he might go for a shell smash uh ch 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 let me let me try to think what else we can do the second surge is popping so we cannot go for sucker punches and i gotta remember that i think a follow me is just gonna happen and there's some seeds that are full of psychic. They're full of psychic. Okay. A special defense boost for him. Um, I could swap. I don't really see a, a need to swap. 
think I might just go for a skull or a blizzard. I think I'm just going to uh, finish you off. I'm going to go for a skull. And I'm going to try to get off a wicked blow here, but I think he's just going to follow me, so we're going to see what happens here. Yep, there's follow me. That's totally fine. He's gonna he's looking for the shell smash. He's looking to sh to smash up with the shells. Which is fine by me. I, mean, I don't really see a big deal with that. He goes in with this. Get that thing out of my face. Drop that thing in one shot. Critical hit easily. This is guaranteed crit. And yeah, our screw's rocking out. Really strong Pokemon here. He goes with the shell smash. Not like we didn't see that coming. Okay. So this is where troubles are gonna start to kick in. Now I wish I brought my boy. If I elect the buyer, I would have just mwah, right in the right in the nose. Right in the nose. Big little hit right to his nose. He's white herb, so his stats are gonna go back to normal. And he's gonna be able to soak us up, no problem. Can we get it burned just for a little bit of pester damage? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me that burn. Even though he's special attacking, we still get a little bit of pester damage rocking around here. Alright, so that's gonna be a Steinmax Mon. I wonder who he's gonna go into. Show me that you're going into Landers. Hatterene. All right, so Hatterene comes out here. No, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I think we're just going to double down onto the Hatterene. Let's go for a Wicked Blow again. Guaranteed crit. We do have Sash. I don't really see... Actually, I see Hatterene maybe protecting, but still. We have Wicked Blow. We're going to be able to hit through a Protect. There's no way he's going to go for a Trick Room. I see him protecting more than anything, but... Again, Urshfu's out here, and he hits through Protects. I'm kind of hoping he Dynamaxes now and wastes his turn. See what he does. Yeah. So there goes the Blastoise. Blastoise is going to Dynamax. I think he's going to drop a uh, G-Max Canyonade over onto my Urshfu. Bring him down to the Sash, and then the Canyonade is going to take him out. Well, let's just see what happens here. Blastoise is going to outspeed, which is kind of tough. Kind of tough news. That dang Shell Smash. Let's see what happens. With the plans. Yep, there's Canyon Aid. So we're gonna be able to get off a shot, which is huge. Just huge. Oh, we go you go after Milo Yo, okay, thank you. Thank you for going after Milo Tick. We're doubling down into that Hatterene slot. So maybe we can take it out. Let's see, Wicked Blow is gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage here. And can a Scald pick up the KO for us? Come on, Scald. Doom Dirty. Doom Dirty Scald. I went for Scald instead of Hydro Pump because it has higher accuracy. I really didn't want to miss. There we go. Still picks up the KO. And we're sitting in a solid position. So we waste it one turn. About to waste our second turn here. There goes our Focus Ash. And we still have our Dynamax. Still have our lovely Dynamax. Which I might just give to Gudra. Who am I going to Dynamax here? I could Tailwind later. Take Speed. Last way he's burning. He's just going to start getting chipped away. He's not doing too much damage here. And he's going to send out Rillaboom. And in that case, I think I'm just going to swap the Milotic now. Because we know the Grassy Glide's coming out here. We know the Grassy Glide is coming out here. So I am just going to swap the Gudra to that. Right? We get a special uh, attack boost with that, right? I believe so. I'll boost the attack stat, but it's just a free swap. Then we can eventually get out Mouth. Or I can just protect. I think I'm just going to double protect and swap next turn. Right? I think because the Grassy Glide is going to come here. And the Urshfu can, and the uh, Canyonade is going to come onto the Urshfu. But I might as well just double protect. Waste the turns out here and get my Pokemon out next battle. That's totally... I'm, I'm digging this turn. I'm digging this turn over just swapping it to this Hap Zipper. There goes my double protect. Wasting out this boy's turns all dang day. All dang day. Fake out. Oh, he's going to go for the Fake out. So good thing I did not swap. So that works. That works totally fine. Here comes Canyonade into Urshfu, I'm guessing. We're going in for Milo again. Let's see. That's an Urshfu. Beautiful. Now I can go for a Sucker Punch, get off a little bit of damage, and swap into my uh, Zap Super Ninja. Right? We eat, right? We eat all day. Right? You gotta be going for a Glide. You gotta be going for a Glide into the Milotic, right? There's no doubt in my mind. Right? I'm, I'm gonna go for a Swap. I'm gonna go for a Swap here, and I'm just gonna drop a Sucker Punch onto the... Uh, the roll boom. Hopefully this works out. Or maybe I should just let the mile tick go down. But we're going for saps. Anyway. We're looking for saps in this place. So many grass guy coming out here. Second punch is gonna go first. Wheel. And now grass guy should come out here. Bang! There it is. Zap zipper popping. 
wasting that turn and then Urshfu's gonna drop down, which is totally fine by me. Canyon's coming out here. No way it's going on the mile there. There's just no shot, right? No shot. Look at your boy just outplaying. The boy's just outplaying. So all of his Dynamax turns are gone. It's out of here. Get him out of my face. Now I'm gonna bring in Corviknight, and I think I just Dynamax the Gudra, right? Gudra has a lot of coverage here. You can rock out pretty strong here. What do I Dynamax the, the Corvo? Corvo could be pretty good. I'll, I'll check the stats. I'll check the uh, stats on, on these Pokemon before we uh, choose our Dynamax. But I definitely want to bring out Corviknight here. Or I can bring back out Milotic if I really want to. I think Corviknight's just going to be a player. We got Leftovers. And we have the Grass Train. So this thing is just going to be stacking up on HP. And it soaks up a lot of what these guys have to offer considering it's a defensive tank. We have solid first battle so far. Going the distance. We're making some good plays left and right here. And we're countering up on this meta Pokemon. Uh, I just want to check out the stats. Let's go to the summary. La 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 la. Okay, there's our attack. 111. And we're all physical, right? Ray Bird, yeah, Iron Head. Okay. 111. And what is Gudra? 178. We're going to go in with Gudra. Time Max Gudra, especially because we have the Soul Fest too. Help us eat up some of the shots from Blastoids. And I could just flare and finish you off. Yeah, I'm just going to flare and finish you off. And then. Actually, I could just go into a Brave Bird from there. I'm actually just going to Dynamax, go for the Worm Win into the Blastoid slot, and then I'll just Brave Bird and hit up onto this Roll Boom. Okay, looking good for us, looking real good for us. Dude, I waited so long to use my Dynamax. I knew once he Dynamaxed there, and we were able to waste one or two turns with the Urshfu and Milotic lead, I was like, yo, we should be sitting fine here. Then he brought us a Roll Boom, I was like, I'm going to bait Grass Guide, go out from there, and good thing I did protect first, because he ended up going for the Fake Out, that could have been rough for us. But, we made the right calls, protected first. Read that grassy guide, soaked it up, and now we just have Dynamax power here. We're going to be able to soak up shots here all day. Assault vest. Easy eats. Easy eats, baby. Knockoff coming out here, and you're going to take off my leftovers? You buttery biscuit. How dare you take off my leftovers? How dare you do that? Vapor comes through, and we might be able to pick up KO here, right? Should be able to, right? Get him out of here, yo. Corviknight coming in clutch. Haven't used this Pokemon forever, and it's still just as strong as I remember. Recoil damage is going to drop us down a little bit, but I believe this Wormwind should finish off the game here, right should be able to do it oh my god he got a free focus ash but does this burn come out first show me the burn comes out first no the burn doesn't come out first this guy lives on one but the burn might it might be able to take him out i should be able to live on that what you mean what you mean get him out of here here's the vortex damage we're able to eat up another blizzard now is his burn going to take him out that's gonna be close or is he going to put him back down on one? Puts him on one, dude. This dude survived. If he gets a double crit or something, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Gudra, Gudra can definitely eat up another uh, Blizzard. So can Milotic. So all we got to do is land up a shot. This thing lives on one. Out of here. Get him out of my game. Go for that Scald. Has the highest percent or percentage of hitting. So might as well go into it. Blizzard goes. It misses my Gudra. I knew it. I knew it wasn't hitting both Pokemon again. Knew it. Actually, it's just too low on that move. Skull's going to come out here, finish up this game, and we're going to start off battle number one, or today's video, with a win. That is awesome. Long, drawn-out battle. Solid. Got to show off this team pretty strong and catch ourselves that win. Run it, baby. Run it. Your boy's been rocking out on online double battles, but we're hopping into our second battle, looking to go back to back. This guy has a pretty cool team. He has AG Slash on it, and I haven't... Oh, wait. It's a Mono Ghost team. That is sick. That is awesome, but I'm sorry to have to do this. I have to bring in Urshifu. I just have to. But I give this guy props. He's using anti-meta team jump. I give you mad props. Look at your Urshifu as a lead. Definitely going to bring in Wimscott to try to get off that tailwind. Definitely want to take speed advantage all day long. Um, who's going to go next? Who's going to be our next mod? Do I bring Gudra? Gudra's not bad here. Gudra. Definitely want to bring in Electifier. He's just cool. Just rocks out. And then final spot. Mm, this jeans want to do. Does it want to do? I want to do Corviknight. I'm thinking I want to do Corviknight. <laughs> uh, let's just go Gudra. I think Gudra's going to be a little bit better here. Especially with that Assault Vest. One Pokemon I I am a little worried about is going to be that, uh, that what's it called? That Corsola. Scaring me a little bit. 
scaring me just a tad bit. Let's go Gujar here and uh, let's roll out here. But yo, I saw this team. I was like, yo, like I, I focused on Aegis Slash because that's a cool off meta Pokemon. That that goes back to the question of the day. One of my favorite off meta Pokemon, Aegis Slash. Just cool all around, man. And you don't really see him anymore. I used to see him a lot when I played singles. When I first started playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, I used to play singles a lot. But I haven't used Aegis Slash in forever. So if you guys have like a cool doubles Aegis Slash team, definitely send it to me in the uh, my Instagram DMs or in my comment section down below if you guys do not have Instagram. I would love to get my hands on one of them. And hopefully it's strong too. Because I don't know how strong Aegis Slash can actually be. But I think I just, um, I think I just Wicked Blow here. Because after a Tailwind, we're going to be able to outspeed. So I'm just going to Tailwind and drop a Wicked Blow. There's Roosts. I might just want to Dynamax him. He's just going to ally switch, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. Do 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 do. Which is totally fine. We can blow. Yeah, you send it, send it. Build. Add here. I told him I was sorry. I had to do this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I, yo, you see a mono ghost team and you have fighting a dark urge feel. You gotta bring him in there. Like you, it, it's a must. It is a must. There's Mimikyu. We might get the Dynamax here. I'm just gonna Wicked Blow onto Dragon Pole slot. I'm just gonna drop a Moon Blast. Over on the Mimikyu, just knock off the Sash. That I was kidding. <laughs> oh my lord. That might have been the quickest battle I have ever played. What was it? One move? Yeah. Just a Tailwind into a Wicked Blow. Taking out AG Slash, and then he realizes, just like, dang, dude, this Earth Tree's gonna run me. Let me cancel out this battle. But we're sitting at 2 0, guaranteed ourselves that winning record. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and he has a colossal, well, Steam Engine colossal uh, weakness policy proccing team. He has a Zoom Rail, a Procket, or maybe another Pokemon who's not stabbing water. But then he also has the Gothitelle, the Intimidate with the Landers, the Tapu Koko, and the Spectrum. All right. Okay. I'm trying to think. But it's kind of weird. Now that I'm using a, a, an anti-meta team, I haven't really been seeing, like, staple meta teams. Like, you guys will know next Pokemon Sword and Shield video, I'm going to be seeing a bunch of, like, staple meta teams. But this is fun, dude. I'm having a blast with this team, and we're doing really well with it. Uh, I kind of want to go Milotic here. Milotic. And then into Electivire. Hmm. Or do I want to take Speed? Speed's always good. Speed could always be solid. I think I'm going to go Whimsicott. Because I would love to get off a Tailwind. Then I would love to get Electivire up in here. And then in the final spot, Urshifu? Yes. Run it. Go. Run it. <laughs> but we're sitting at 2-0. That first battle was long and drawn out. We got to show off a lot of different plays. And then that second battle kind of dilly down the time. With just a one-turn game. That was the quickest match I ever had. He just canceled right away. He knew my Urshfu was sweeping. I was probably going to Dynamax after that next turn. But it's all good. It is all good. See, so he goes Gothitelle and Azumarill. And Azumarill has the best shiny in the game. It is like a solid gold Azumarill. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Just drop that gorgeous. That thing is part fairy. And that's a really strong Pokemon. It is actually really strong. I'm just going to drop a Scald. I'm going to go after you, and I am going to go for... Actually, do I taunt you? And no, we're going to go for Tailwind. And love the little Tailwind. Boo -doo boom 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 ba -da 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 -da. Now, Let's see what the suit has. He's going for the Zoom Rail. It's definitely huge power, or is that the ability, right? Huge power or something that boosts a physical attack. So this thing's going to be able to hit like a truck. He's going to go after my uh, Whimsy. Oh, such a cool shiny. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta respect it, too. Gotta respect the off-meta teams that we're playing today. Let's see. Like, this team's built to counter the meta, but how does it play up against a, a team that is not the meta? <laughs> gonna end up faking out here. Uh, he's just gonna take out my Wimscott, no problem. And it's good to know that Milotic does outspeed that Pokemon. That's cool. Get off some damage. We get the burn. Shove it to me. Oh, yo, our burns are on the day. They're on the day. Steel Spike coming out here. A Beery Berry clutching up. That's not Stab. That is not Stab, so I, I see Wimscott just eating this one up. Soak it up, baby. Yes. Yes, Whimsicott. You're the best. So now I can definitely get off the Tailwind. And I think I'm going to go for that Hydro Pump. I'm going to hope that the Hydro Pump connects. And we can be able to take out that, uh, that Gothitelle here. Run it. 
Go for that tailwind. I'd rather get off a tailwind than like go for a moonblast. But I'm hoping this connects. And we are wasting our turns here, which is dope. That's gonna be two turns we just wasted out. I think Gothitelle is gonna go for the KO on the Whimscott. And then uh Azumarill is gonna go for the KO onto the Milotic. But I need this hydro, hydro pump to land. It'll be lovely. Do it. Land it. Land it. Yes, sir. So see you later, uh Gothitelle. That thing's definitely gone for sure. Get him out of my face. Are you kidding me? Yo, what? What? That only did that much more damage than Scald? I thought for sure it was doing a lot more damage. It goes for a tickle, you know, this thing tickles me. And my attack drops, and that's stupid, because I'm special attacking, and now my competitive nature is popping. Thank you very much. But then that is going to drop my defense. But again, my competitive nature is popping. <laughs> so, yo, if you don't take out my Milotic here, I'm coming after you. Steel Spike going into Wimscott. Oh, yo. Oh, yo, big mistake. Big mistake tickling on a competitive Milotic. I'm sorry, I have to do this. I have Dynamax, my special attack's plus four. I have speed, I'm taking out Azumarill. Actually, can I take out Azumarill? It's gonna be a tough call. You have to get after it. I am gonna bring out Urshifu here. Or you know what, no, we're bringing out Electivire. Electivire, do 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 do. And do I, do I double up into the, uh... I have to definitely Dynamax here. Do I double up into Azumarill? I think we pick up KOs both ways. I think we Dynamax here, and I think a Life Orb Wild Charge is going to take out this Azumarill, no problem. Let's just see. I don't want to double up into the Azumarill just in case we're going to see a Max Guard. But, dude, I don't understand why this guy tickled me. Like, how do you make it to Master Ball doing that? I guess he really wanted that. I thought he was going to go for the... Like, he got the defense drop, and I was just like, okay, maybe he forgot about competitive. But then he didn't go after my Milo thing. He went after my Wimpscott again. Let's see what happens here. No guard comes out here. Wild Charge is popping out here and doesn't even come close. He has a defensive boost. And Electivire is going to take mean damage. Mean, mean recoil. That's alright. The Geyser is going to flow through here. And I think that the Azumarill is going to come after my, uh, my Electivire. Let's see what happens. We take you out. We have Rain pouring down. My Altec's going to be able to pop off left and right here. But I just need him to just soak up shots. And are you going to go after Electivire here? Let's see. Here goes the first Starfall. And let's go in after Milotic. Can you eat? He, he soaks up pretty well. He did soak that up pretty well. And this terrain is popping. Okay, so we have speed. I know that because Tailwind is out and about. Zoomerel is really the only problem. But I don't think I have to worry about him too much if I get off another wild charge. Because we might be able to KO the next wild charge. I know he's defense boosted one. But he's going to lose a lot of his HP considering he's not going to be in Dynamax form anymore. Well, Milotic should be able, whoever he throws out next, if it's not Sash, we should just be able to dump on it. And if I think it's Sash, I might just roll into a Hailstorm. Let's see his mod. It's going to be Coco. It's going to be Coco Beans. Coco Beans, yeah. Extra Surge popping. I don't see this thing really being Sashed. But. But I still might go into a Hailstorm. It's not Sash. There's just item. Okay. So he's going to raise his defense. I'm just going to take it out one shot with the guys. The guys are going to be easy, easy takedowns for him. Easy takedowns. Guys are coming through. And then, uh, do I go into another wild charge? Yeah, it's going to be my play. Drop another wild charge, see if we can pick up the KO from there. And Zumero might eat it up. But I'm thinking Milotic should be faster, right? I was thinking she's going to straight up Aqua Jet. Can we eat that? Oh, we do. I love you. I love you. We eat that, but we're going to go down the recoil damage. Do we KO there? We KO now. Was that a crit? It was not a crit. Just big damage. Thank you. Aqua Jet was a smart play. Almost took us out. Milotic, I need you outspeeding here. Milotic outspeeds. It's GG's. Milotic does outspeed. Tapu Coco, get out of my face. And yo, we're going to grab ourselves a perfect record with this team. Perfect record. Easy. Is that bo Is that all the Pokemon? Is that all of them? Or he has one more, right? Yeah, he has one more. We still have Urshfu. That's game, set, and match. We have our Milotic boosted. One more turn in Dynamax, and we have Urshfu. Just so. No way you're beating us. It's probably going to be Spectre. Let's see it. Nope, it's Landers. And there it goes competitive. Plus six Milotic. Plus six? Plus six, right? I got I to gotta see this. I got to see this. I got to see this, baby. Go into our info. 
plus six special attack. That is absurd. That is absurd. Oh my lord. Yo, Landers, get out my game. Get him out of my game. Going for that Wicked Blow. We still have a turn in Tailwind, so we're just going to be able to uh, Wicked Blow here. I don't think Wicked Blow is going to be able to pick up the KO. I think plus six, uh, my going to finish this one off. Yeah. Bringing down past half, dude. Urshfu's bopping off today. And then plus six Max Geyser. No one's eating that one up. That's stab. That's super effective. Get this Pokemon out of my face. We get ourselves a perfect record. Messiah, thank you so much for dropping this team. Absolutely loved it. Dominated today. Had awesome battles all around and got that 3-0 record. See what happens when we don't use meta teams. We dominate, get ourselves a perfect record, and get to show off some fun Pokemon in some fun battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Messiah for dropping this team. Again, if you guys want to drop teams, leave them in my Instagram DMs. My name is right below my face cam, and there's a link to my Instagram down in the description below. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.